as far as I remember, when I during my studies in the in the, in the secondary school, I liked very much maps, uh, especially in a history in a geographic. And uh, as far as I remember, in the seventh grade, uh, actually there was an assignment uh, to go to the fields and to uh, describe uh, and to write and to prepare the map of the of the territory. After the school, uh, I was looking at the universities where it's, where it will be possible to to work uh, once again with the maps. So actually, there was an opportunity to. Um, uh, I was looking for the opportunities where to um, uh, to to prepare to draw the maps, and actually I have chosen Lithuanian University of Agriculture to study land management because uh, land managers and uh, land surveyors they are drawing maps uh, and uh, they are after that they are working in a, in the municipalities they are drawing various territory planning maps. Uh, they are working as urban planners, they are working in a cadaster and etc. So after the finishing uh, my studies in the university, uh, I was looking at the companies which, uh, which are related with the maps development. Uh, so actually that was the reason why I have appeared in a, in a Net Baltic, uh, the company which takes care about uh, they are SRE dealers, uh, SRE representatives in, in all the Baltic states. City administrators, uh, they are using various information, geographical information, they are using population data, they are looking at the crime data, they are analyzing, uh, for example, flooding maps, and, and it gives you know, their, their understanding about the territory. Uh, GIS is a, it's a science of where, uh, because we are, uh, the city administrators they are raising such questions like where to build a kindergarten, in which territory, they are thinking about uh, where to allocate surveillance uh, cameras uh, and various things. So, uh, so the GIS help, helps in such a questions, to solve such a questions. As municipalities, they are developing various data. They are opening this data in open data portals. They are preparing, you know, this. Uh, they are opening their big data to analyze it. So it's possible to analyze all this data not only in a two D, but uh, but it's possible to uh, open all this data in three D in a third dimension. So opening all this data in three D maps, it's possible to. Um, to use all this uh, 3D, all the data uh, in a di digital city uh, to prepare a 3D map. Uh, it's possible to use for the gamification, like a Minecraft. Uh, it, is, it is possible to, um, uh, to use it in augmented reality, in virtual re reality, and for various uh, citizens' involvement uh, through the gamification as well. GIS analysts, uh, so their their solutions, uh, their insights are based on a data-driven, you know. So actually, from GIS data-driven. So they are uh, they have analytical thinking. Uh, they are using various, you know, these maps and uh, looking at the concentration of some sort of things, and uh, they are preparing like a heat maps and. Uh, they are giving their insights and suggestions for the city authorities uh, how to manage various things. Uh, there is a saying that uh, data is the new oil. So actually, uh, talking about this, it's very important to have reliable and up-to-date data. For example, if you are allocating funding, let's say for the um, resilience for the uh, climate change for the uh, some for the public safety so it's very important to have uh, reliable data. talking about uh, self-employment and such in this area I would say uh, it's possible to work for as a freelancer in this area and uh, for example there are uh, various opportunities to work for the United Nations uh, in, in various uh, internships uh, to, to 
to help prepare maps for the many African countries, uh, for uh, various developing countries, I would say, not only African countries. recommendation for the students uh, it would be uh, first of all the most important thing is curiosity I would say and after that uh, it's necessary to focus on uh, geographics on uh, informatics on, uh, math on mathematics and statistics history as well uh, and to focus on uh, crunching big data you know to open data which are, uh, are available at the municipalities uh, and of course, uh, it's necessary to um, the new trends. Is, I would say it's uh, Internet of Things, so mechanics as well. Uh, my recommendation is uh, in Lithuania we have uh, initiative uh, GS for the schools, uh, so uh, it is possible there are various open data which is possible to to use in their school children. They are able to use in uh, their project. We are talking about uh, all the geographical data um, we have to think about as I mentioned about the 3D about virtual reality augmented reality uh, about the artificial intelligence as well because uh, it helps also all this data and geographical data helps in us as mentioned in a uh, decision support children are thinking where to study in which which topics to study so I would say uh, they have to focus on a uh, uh, geography uh, land management territory planning urbanists well, actually I would like I would I would recommend for the children uh, to do not waste time you know gaming uh, but learning uh, trying to be involved in various projects which uh, for example like a, there is a hackathons uh, and in these hackathons you are able to find various uh, open data which has uh, geographical uh, you know elements so they have, they would be it would be interesting you know to crunch all these data and uh, develop own projects apps and and what maps I would say.